One day, my mom told me, why are you dating a Mexican? That German guy was a hundred times better. My mother never came to terms with the fact that my boyfriend was Mexican. The night I told her, she flipped out. And it was ugly. It was when we were having desserts. She seemed happy, so I went ahead and told her. But, oops, she just got really angry, said she would not approve our relationship, gushed into her room and closed the door on me. She would not come out of her room for the rest of the night. She was hurt. I was too. I can understand how my boyfriend was not who she had expected. But the comment that she preferred my German ex-boyfriend to my Mexican boyfriend ruptured my heart. It just showed too well that she didn't like him because of his ethnicity or nationality. She doesn't even know any of them. My boyfriend and I met each other when he was an exchange student in Notre Dame. Now, he is the dearest person in my life. He gives me hope, wisdom, knowledge, strength, and inspiration to live on. He can take care of me in a way that nobody can. His personality is one thing, but I love his Mexicanness. His chocolate brown legs are really sexy. <laughs> and his deep dark eyes are so beautiful. His Spanish accent kills me sometimes. For El Dia de los Muertos, his mom sent me a Big sugar skull covered with gold, pink, and green papers. On Christmas Eve, we played fireworks at his uncle's backyard with all of his cousins, broke a piñata filled with fruits, and sang Christmas songs holding baby Jesus statues. I love the food, too. <laughs> I also enjoy using my crude Spanish skills with his family and friends. But my mom sees in him, it's different. He's brown, Mexican, five foot three, and he has a beard. He has a big Mexican nose and a rounded torso. He speaks English with an unflattering Spanish accent. Mexico is a third world country. Of course, I am not naive to be blind about the downsides of dating my boyfriend. I get scared when I hear about gunfights and murders in Mexico City. I was shocked at the quality of medical facilities when I accompanied him to a dentist. But these are things we can avoid with enough caution. And my boyfriend and I can probably make enough money to afford better medical facilities. The most challenging for us, however, is the social obstacle, racism. My own mother not respecting him and getting frustrated at the fact <laughs> just because of his social connotations and looks. My friends suggesting that I date somebody of my own kind and acquaintances derogatory remarks that I am for sure out of his league. We don't need any more cold shoulders. Being a young couple from two different cultures is difficult enough. Long distance is our constant enemy, and sometimes the language barrier between us and our own families gets very tiring. We don't know literally where the world will end up. Let us just love. Let us just take care of each other and help one another. Someday, I imagine myself eating my mom's homemade delicious food with my boyfriend. When I, cooking, when I cooked for him last time, he jokingly said, I want my frijoles. <laughs> but this time, he'd be too nervous to say that. My mom might be nervous too, but 
I'll tell them both how much I love them. <laughs>